Hi, it's the weekend, it's Saturday, and as you know, I try to spend as much time as I can with my kids. Anyway, this morning, um, I went to the White House to check how things were going over there with the, with the dogs. A quick visit, and to my surprise, I find a guy, a diver, inside the swimming pool. Oh my God, I was so shocked. Well, as you know, we don't have a shelter. Instead, we have two beautiful homes, uh, big houses where the dogs are living there as in a family. So they go there, they stay stay there a while, and then they go to homes. I, we find that it's a, it's a perfect family environment for them. Anyway, we have two swimming pools, and in the pool they, they do swim, they do rehab, and then in the summer they enjoy themselves, and you know, they, they, they have a really great life. But in recent weeks we had been noticing that there was a water leakage. We were We were missing a lot of water. I mean, thousands of liters and it, it's just a massive waste. So apparently the, the landlord organized for a diver to go and check exactly where was the place where the water is leaking. So big surprise when I arrived there and I see a guy there with the diving gear and all the suit and everything inside the pool. I was a bit, I was a bit shocked. Anyway, this is just a quick intro and a, you know, something funny that has happened today. update. Many people, many of you are asking me about Rocky. Rocky was found a few weeks ago. He was uh, dumped on a, on a garbage container. And I mean, the poor dog. I mean, he was just there, you know. God, I mean, he could have had a really horrible life. He's going to be okay. He's already on treatment and he's making great, great progress. His skin looks so much better. His mood is changing. I mean, he's still a bit depressed, but this is this is normal. Uh, little by little, the hair is coming up and we're going to be seeing some great changes in the next few days. This is Rocky. This is how he looks today. I also wanted to tell you about yesterday's video. As you know, I went to a local shelter to rescue a dog, Matt, that is missing his nose. So the dog is now at the hospital. We're beginning treatment. On Monday, I will launch a fundraiser to take care of his needs. But 
many of you have written to me telling me about the shelter and what can we do about it. And look, we're going to help them. We're going to help them. But I had a meeting with them. I went through their finances, through their numbers, and the situation is just so bad. It's so bad that instead of just donating the money right now, I'm just going to sit with them. I'm just going to go through all their numbers. I'm going to go through their fundraising systems. I'm just going to try to help them to create something like what we have done using the power of social media, using YouTube, using Facebook. I don't know. They are a bit lost at the moment. And, you know, when it comes to shelters, it's uh, many people are writing to me all the time and they tell me that their dream is to build a big shelter, fill them up with dogs and so that they can all live there forever. And all these people that write to me, they are so good and they are so well intentioned. But you know they say that the, the road to hell is paved with, with good intentions? This is a this is a big problem. When people start a shelter, they they, they do it with all their hearts, but many times they don't think about things like you know the welfare of these animals and these animals are gonna need homes how are you gonna find those homes and how are you find, gonna find the money to pay for all of this you know people don't think about these things and we live in a society where you need money to pay for things you need to pay for electricity for water for food for the dogs for bed bills i mean there's so many expenses that are associated with a shelter so many people start shelters they fill them up with dogs and then they find themselves in hell this is what we're gonna try to we're gonna try to help these people they are what is really sad is that they, they are very young they're a very young team and they have inherited a mess from the previous team. The previous team left them with 500 dogs living in horrific conditions. And these people, you know, they face dilemma, like either we take responsibility for this or these dogs will all go to the pound and they will die. So this is the situation that they have right now over there. I'm gonna try to help them. Uh, we have already set up a WhatsApp group and uh, I've put in some very good people that are gonna help them with finance and I will be helping them with teaching them how to make videos, how to communicate with the people, how to find homes, how to raise funds for their animals. It's going to be a long term project, but uh, and right now they are very, very, very deep, 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 deep into debt. But I think uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a situation, it's a case of, you know, teaching them how to fish. And that's what we're going to try to do, try to teach them how to fish. They are young, they are very motivated. And I really think that uh, that they're gonna make it. I'll be updating on the process, on the progress. That uh, I don't know. I just think that I hope that things are gonna go well. I'm gonna try to put as much time as I can and effort. Uh, my biggest problem is time. You know, I just don't have any. But uh, but this is so sad. I was just they need help. We're gonna help them. So guys, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for your support. We're saving animals, we're saving dogs and cats that no one else will save. Furthermore, we're helping others saving lives as well. So please, if you can, consider becoming one of our sponsors. I've set up a Patreon page. There's a link here. You can go there, select the level of support that you can give us on a monthly basis. It doesn't have to be much, but it's really going to make a big, big difference. Please join us. Join us on Patreon. Thank you.